All right. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. I'm Mayor Jim Dunleavy from TNEC, and we're here today to again emphasize the importance of the infrastructure bill that was recently passed and passed because of our Congressman Josh Gottheimer. It is important for this country and this region to have better infrastructure for the safety and the economic health that everyone deserves. So with that, I would like to introduce Commissioner Amoroso Ortiz from the Bergen County Board of Commissioners. Excellent. Change your name? Both of us. Both oh, of us. Okay. Yeah. So this bridge has been considered structurally deficient since 2012. And these barricades are up to reduce the flow of traffic so you don't have excessive weights on this bridge. The county does not have the money to foot the entire cost of repair for this bridge. We are so grateful that the uh, trillion dollar plus infrastructure bill has been passed due to the efforts of our good friend, Congressman Josh. And uh, we will get started on improving this bridge and making it as safe and capable as it can be. Thank you. Excellent. John Mayor. Good morning. I would like to first thank our Congressman Josh Gottheimer for supporting this critical bill. Bergen County is the most populated county in the state of New Jersey and the most traveled roads since we're located right near New York City and being the hub of shopping throughout the, the tri-state area. We also have the most commuters going into the city, so this infrastructure bill is critical for us and the resources are so needed to repair so many of our roads and bridges. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Congressman for supporting this bill and bringing these resources to the state of New Jersey. Thank you. So, you don't want to call up the great Tom Sullivan, so, you know, but first we're going to call up Mike. I think, Mike, you're going to speak first, right? Sure. Mike Schneider, who obviously, if everyone doesn't know Mike by now from Central Council, then uh, you haven't been around Bergen County in a while. Mike. Thank you, Congressman. Morning. On behalf of the Bergen County Central Labor Council, we're here this morning to show our support and thanks to Congressman Gottheimer for his tireless efforts in the infrastructure. Projects like this are not only good for the building trades guys out of here, but projects like this make the roads in New Jersey much safer and better for everybody who travels through it. So, Congressman, thanks again. And let's get going. Let's get going, man. I'd like to bring up President of the Bergen County Building Trades, Mr. Tom Sullivan. Thank you, Mike. First, I want to thank our police department for being here and keeping us safe. Thanks to the, to the men and women in, the, in law enforcement. So today is uh, we continue to continue to help our congressman move projects forward. Who without him we wouldn't have. These projects are good good uh, jobs for our building trades people, and they're good for the people in the uh, county of Bergen. I happen to wear a couple of hats. I'm also county commissioner uh, of the Bergen County. Uh, Commissioner Board, and this is a quality of life issue besides the safety issue. As you can see, the barriers here that are slowing down traffic, and it's heyday. This bridge is four lanes wide, and now we're barely lucky to get the two lanes coming across. So thanks to uh, Congressman Gottheimer and continually pushing for bills that make a quality of life better here in the state of New Jersey and the safety better in the state of New Jersey, and also putting men and women in the building trades to work on good-paying jobs where they can go home and feed their families and know that when they put their head on the pillow that everyone here is safe because of the efforts of Congressman Gottheimer and uh, people that he has also brought across the aisle to support this bill. So, Congressman, on behalf of the Bergen County Building Trades, Cesar Gamio uh, is here. He's the Vice President of Building Trades. I have some other Building Trades people here. We say thank you to you, and we're going to continue to work with you and do whatever is necessary to keep moving these things forward. Thank you, Congressman. Thanks so much. Thanks, Congressman. Well, I want to thank Tom Sullivan. I want to thank the building trades. Caesar, thank you so much for your leadership. And everyone who literally works around the clock every day to actually fix bridges like this one. It wouldn't happen with the hardworking men and women of labor. So I just want to give them a round of applause. 
I also want to thank our first responders here, law enforcement. Thank you guys for what thanks for what you do. <laughs> and our commissioners, Mary Amoroso and uh, Jermaine Ortiz, thank you for your excellent leadership along with Tom Sullivan in the county. I, I do want to thank our, our great elected officials from Teaneck. Got the mayor who has always been a great champion uh, of fighting for the people he represents and the council who just does a phenomenal job. I want to make sure I I recognize Councilman Kaplan, Councilwoman Oregon, Deputy Mayor Schwartz, uh, Councilman Taglia. Thank you so much for your work. I'm really, really grateful to what you for what you guys do. And of course, this connects Hackensack and Teaneck. So I want to make sure I recognize all our elected officials in Hackensack uh, who do great work as well, and make sure we fight the fight. Listen, the good news is last week the president announced. 1.14 billion dollars for Jersey out of what we fought for in the bipartisan infrastructure package. We got and that and let me tell you, that was not easy. We all stood together thanks to the building trades and all the county and local officials. We fought very hard to get it passed. It's an historic once in a century package. More than 8 billion dollars for the state of New Jersey. Roads, bridges, rails, the gateway tunnel, water infrastructure, electric vehicle infrastructure fixing so many things that have been ignored for so many decades. And that's the challenge right now. When you ignore things for decades, infrastructure, it doesn't just get better. You can't wish and hope that it gets better. You actually have to fix them, right? And it, after 33 years, finally, we got together, Democrats and Republicans worked across the aisle and got this passed and got it out of the House and the Senate and into law. That's the way we should legislate, by working together to get things done for the people we represent. The people behind me, that's what, they're, that's what they do every day. They fight for people, working folks, the hardworking folks, and of course, for our communities and our economies. It's so important. This bridge, as everyone said, literally is falling apart, right? It's, on, it's one of the, in New Jersey, one third of our bridges are considered unsafe, are structurally deficient, a third. And this is one of them. It's on the list, the endangered species list, this bridge, right? And you see, we're down to two lanes because we can't handle the weight of four lanes, so they had to cut down to two lanes. That's outrageous in the greatest country in the entire world that we've got a bridge where we can only use half the bridge. It makes absolutely no sense, but now we're gonna fix it. This bridge will get fixed starting next year. They're finishing all the plans. Starting next year, construction will begin here. We fought for it on the list, it's on the list. So this bridge will get fixed with the hardworking men and women of labor making it happen. And, and that, right? I mean, what's that? Oh, yeah, exactly. So think about that. Next year, we'll start construction on this bridge instead of having to prop it up, which literally is right now because it's cracking on the wings. It's actually cracking and crumbling if you look underneath it. It needs, it needs fixing. And thanks to the legislation we fought for, Democrats and Republicans working together fighting hard, passing it. The historic once-in-a-century bipartisan structure bill will fix this bridge. The, the resources were announced officially last week, not just for this bridge, for bridges across the state of New Jersey, across our district. We're going to get the Gateway Tunnel built. We're fixing our water infrastructure, the lead in the water and the dangerous chemicals. We're going to get those out of there, thanks to this bill. And we're going to make sure where we right now have the eighth worst roads in the entire country, we're going to fix those too. And thank, thanks to the working men in labor behind me, it's going to happen. So I just want to thank everyone and recognize that now it's going to begin. We're going to start fixing this. If we want to compete as an economy, as a country, we want to make sure that we compete with China. You can't have, so you cannot have one of the worst infrastructure uh, systems in the world compared to our competitive nations. You can't have it. So that's why we're going to fix it. We're going to start now, and we're going to start on bridges like this one. Thank you so much. God bless. Stay safe. Take care. Thank you so much. Danny, yeah.